On our team, we had some girls who were brand new, the rookie, you know, at res, and uh, and then we had people like myself who were at the end of their UVic career, and I was already a mother, and and uh, so yeah, a broad spectrum of of ages and and experience. Because we were all so very good, even outside of our own our university teams, we all had uh, success outside of that, and I think. You know, you want to be good as, as your teammates, and I think it rubs off. I think it motivates you to, when you're in an environment like that. You know, this is a very deserving group to be the first women's cross-country team to be inducted into the EVIC Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, the collection of talent is incredible. We had an absolutely fantastic dynamic. We all worked incredibly hard, and we all had uh, tons of fun at the same time and we had total respect for each other. It was always a treat running at Beacon Hill because it was our home turf and we trained here a lot and so it was a great finale to my UVic cross-country running career. For a group of that like that to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the Canada West Championships and then six in the top ten at the National University Championships is uh, extremely unique. The actual finishing of the race and knowing what we had just done was like, wow, I can't believe we did that. <laughs> like, we just cleaned up. <laughs> Home course advantage was huge, but honestly, that group would have probably dominated the same way on any course in Canada that year. It was very special. We, you know, had so many very, very accomplished uh, athletes at, at the same time, and uh, we were really lucky to, to have each other to work with. We all connect on some level or another to each other still, even to this day. And, um, and I think that's the, that's the legacy of being a Vike, is the connections and, and contacts you make with people down the road and they'll stay with you forever.